Banditos, I hacked the Eclipse Protocol gear set into a weapon damage build. It only uses status effects to debilitate enemies long enough for you to mow them down with your 55% amplified weapon damage. Hit the like right now and comment Nightcrawler down below. Let's go. Here's the build and as you can see this setup is unlike anything you've seen before. I hacked the four pieces of Eclipse Protocol into a weapon damage build with only one skill tier. That's right, this is not a skill build. We're hardly relying on them. So it's all about the backpack. The Eclipse Protocol backpack is definitely best in slot due to Systems Aggravator, which amplifies all damage you deal to status affected targets by 30%. You need to run four pieces of Eclipse to get this. The gear set gives us indirect transmission. So your status effects now spread on kill to all enemies within 10 meters and refreshes the duration by 50%. This is what you want everything to look like. You want weapon damage and status effects on all all your pieces. I just delivered a really cool classified build you don't want to miss. It's a crazy unlimited armor build that feels like you have the unbreakable talent, except with no cooldowns. I have a link in the description area for you. Shout out to all the Banditos and Texas Players Club for supporting the channel and the Division 2 community in all the ways that you do. To say thank you, I create extra builds for Texas Players Club as member perks. You can find all of your member perks in this playlist at the top of my channel homepage. Make sure your notifications are are turned on too. If you're not part of Texas Players Club, it's time you join the strong, positive community. Link here in the corner and in the description area below. So the Scorpio is vital for this build. It provides us with septic shock. So the third and sixth round apply a status effect to the enemy. And when you kill the target with the status effect applied, that status effect is gonna roll over to your nearby enemies. Your seventh round is gonna make the target take an additional 20% damage from all sources. That's on top of the 55% amplified damage that the build has. So the other Eclipse protocol pieces look basically the same as the backpack, weapon damage and status effects. So my knee pads are the only only piece with a skill tier. So I recommend going at least one skill tier. No skill tiers is too little. Two skill tiers is too much. I found one skill tier to be just right. The holster has weapon damage, 
and status effects. Now my chest piece is Bellstone and we're running two pieces of Bellstone for armor regen, but more importantly, that armor on kill. So I have armor, status effects, skill haste, more skill haste and glass cannon, which has given us 25% more amplified damage, bringing us to a total of 55% amplified damage. Remember all damage you take is amplified by 50% also, but that's not a problem because we're keeping the enemies under status effects. And so when they're under status effects, they're not shooting at you. My mask is my second piece of Bellstone. So I got weapon damage armor regen skill damage and skill haste we got riot foam we got a fire chem we got a flame launcher you're disorientating them and you're shocking them so they are paralyzed and when you kill one of those enemies it paralyzes all the enemies around them as well thanks to indirect transmission from the eclipse protocol set and by having that 10 percent armor on kill that we have set up on this build it allows us to move more freely and play faster and clear content faster at tux's discord we've created a central hub for the entire division 2 community we have countdown group up channels, clans, build channels, raids, and more. This is not an elitist or a raid only environment. It's a place that empowers agents to connect and share. If you want to enrich your offline or in-game Division 2 experience, this is the place to be. You're officially invited. I'm running firewall literally for the flamethrower. This is the strongest fire in the game. Special weapons are based on weapon damage, not skill damage. This is not a skill. So skill damage is not going to help the fire burst damage from this weapon. But the status effects are going to make sure that fire lasts longer. So firewall also gives you enriched magnesium formula, which means that the enemies are going to get 20% more burn duration. Again, that's a status effect. And when they're on fire, guess what they're not doing they're not shooting back at you and so you know the flamethrower signature weapon ammo is never a problem it's always being dropped by enemies that you kill so i definitely recommend you use the riot foam and again we got three ammo which is just right again we're not heavily reliant on our skills so we want to use the full breadth of our arsenal we want to use our skills and we want to use our flamethrower and we want to use our shotgun and so by the time you circle through all your weapons and come back to your chem launcher you're going to be back to full ammo our ensnare duration is just under 12 seconds. For my other skill, I decided to go with the burn sticky bomb. The damage is at 1.2 with the burn duration of 12 seconds. So this burn is for those longer out distances, those enemies beyond 15 meters, basically. There's not much to look at for stats, and that's because the build is based off of amplified weapon damage and red weapon damage cores. For defense, we show 900,000 in armor and 10% armor on kill with just a little bit of armor regeneration. That's a little over 1%. Again, this is not a skill build, so don't overdo it with the skill tiers. Hey, this build feels like you're running an unlimited, unbreakable talent with no cooldowns. Try it now. Uh -huh.